The following content is provided by a I Am Refocused radio contributor. Pastor Vera McEwen with Love God Ministries will be sharing today's message. And now, here is your host, Pastor Vera McEwen. 2023 is all about a we mindset, a we mentality. For with Emmanuel, we are in unity. We become a community, a collective that creates environments where all people, all creation thrives. In January, we began our relationship journey through a we mindset discussing respect. We went through enthusiasm and energy, and here we land this entire month on love. Turn with me to Genesis chapter 4, verse 9. In Genesis chapter 4, verse 9, there is a saying, a saying that's repeated throughout time. It's a saying you all know. Read it there. In those last few words, there is a response, a response to God at a question. And the response is, lo, lo, yada ati. Lo ada yati. That's Hebrew for, I don't know. Have you ever asked your child or ever asked someone, do you know this? I don't know. They looked up their shoulder. I don't know. And that's this response of one of God's great children that we know. You know who I'm speaking of, this child of God. This child of God who thought no one was keeping watch. No one was looking. And he responds, Lo, and he goes on to say, Hashomre. Hmm? Ahi anahi. And those three words, those last three words have impact that ripple throughout time. Ahi anahi. Am I my brother's keeper? In Genesis chapter 4, verse 9, it's that God speaking to Cain. And God is speaking to Cain because God hears the cries of Abel's blood screaming from the ground and even the ground is crying out underneath the shed blood of Abel when his brother thought nobody was watching and God asks the question where is your brother where where pain is your brother Abel and and Cain responds, Lo, Barati. <laughs> I don't know. And then he says, Ha, Shomer. Am I my brother's keeper? Ahi, Anahi. Mm. And the word shomer, the word shomer means more than just keeper. It means watcher, preserver. Am I the person who keeps 
watch over my sibling? Is that is that my job? Is it is it my job to keep watch over the people around me? Am I my sibling's keeper? And if you've been listening to Love God Ministries, you know the answer. The answer is yes. So as we walk through the questions for this week around being a love keeper, a love watcher, a love preserver, I want you to think about your answer. Is it yes? So my first question is when nobody's looking, when nobody is watching you, when nobody is watching on you, a love keeper, are you a love watcher? Shomrein, are you a person who looks out for those around them? I think about this this past weekend, right now, this weekend, Friday, I'd had a very busy work week. And on Friday, it began to snow just a little bit around five o'clock. Now, five o'clock is usually when I pretty much check out from work so that I can rest from a long work week. And about five o'clock, it was really snowing pretty hard. And I knew I'd have to go out and, and shovel a couple of places. And then I thought to myself, you know, I'll just shovel at six and eight. That way, you know, it'll be not so bad. And I know it's going to snow for a long time. And so that way I'll just, I'll just now. So I went out and to my surprise, it was a blizzard. It wasn't just snowing. It was snowing in every direction. And not only that, it was snowing in buckets. I kid you not. Buckets. I mean, it was really coming down. So I was in all my gear, my snow pants, my big snow coat, you know, and I absolutely love my because it's so warm. And I walked over to the first house, which is about 0.5 miles from me. And I get there and I'm shoveling this very heavy, wet snow. And you know me, I always go into things and I think, oh, this is so, you know, good. I can do this. I'm, I'm healthy and I'm well. Thank you, God, for giving me this awesome body. And I'm just shoveling. And it's amazing because it just keeps coming down. And more. And, and every time I lift up a shovelful, it just seems to brighten the path behind me with more snow. And at this particular place, there are two neighbors on either side. They're out shoveling snow as well. And the one neighbor comes through and just starts shoveling the sidewalk for me. I'm not quite finished with the driveway, but they shovel the walk for me. And I'm like, oh my goodness, thank you so much. Thank you. And we just have this little conversation and, and we're talking. What do you do when no one is watching? Are you a love keeper? Well, I'm going to tell you, this, this fellow was definitely, the neighbor was definitely, a, I just, I was in love. I'm like, you are so awesome. Thank you so much for helping me move this snow. This is amazing. Then the other neighbor, the other on the other side, came through and was doing the other side as I was doing the other side of the sidewalk, came along and started helping finish that up. And of course, I thanked them both because that was so amazing. Then I trekked over to the other place that I work on to make sure the snow is removed. And I started going through it. Heavy, wet snow, heavy, wet snow. Could hardly see. And then all of a sudden, the sky just lit up. And I thought, thank you, Jesus. She's been so interesting. <laughs> and then I heard this loud crack. And I'm like, you've got to be joking. It is not only is it a snow blizzard storm, but it actually is a lightning storm, too. And I looked at this object with all this metal attached. And I thought, I think I'm going to come back tomorrow. I don't want to be lit up. Right. So I left the shovel, went back. And when I entered my home. I kid you not, I leaned forward and a huge 
chunk of snow fell right on the floor. I had to go get a dustpan and, and scoop it up and, and put it into the sink. I can tell you that Friday night, two amazing love keepers, two amazing love gatherers, two amazing folks came to assist me during this time of this heavy, wet snow moving. We are here. We are placed on this earth to assist one another. And I just love how people come out and really help one another when storms happen. What about when there isn't a storm? So the next day, that was yesterday, sun, Saturday, the next day there wasn't a storm, but there was all of the remaining results of the storm. And I knew I had to go back to the first place that I shoveled snow and back to the second place to finish that one because I didn't finish that night because there would be more snow. So I get up crazy early in the morning anyway. I got up at five and I'm like, okay, well, I'll just go over there after I get something in my body and get ready. Put on all my gear again. I had to actually put it over the heater because it was all soaking wet because the snow was so heavy. And so six o'clock, well, a little before six o'clock, I'm out there and it's glorious because the storm is over. It's glorious. The stars are out. The trees are lit up by the snow that's so bright and beautiful. And it's dark outside. There's nobody watching. And this is what I noticed. I trudged through the snow because most everybody who had already done some of it, there was still tons of snow left on the sidewalk. So I had to try to find sidewalks. Finally, I gave up, just started walking in the road. Walked in the road to the first house. Nobody was there. But what I noticed was that the neighbor on this side of this house, their, their snow was not done. They hadn't got up and, and, and moved their snow. What do you do when no one's watching? The folks on, on this other side that helped me, thank you God, the night before, had shoveled their snow up to a point. Had shoveled all of their sidewalk, and that's it. Now, one of the things I try to do whenever I'm out shoveling snow, and I, I've been out shoveling snow a lot this season, is I shovel the entire sidewalk for both neighbors, typically, because I feel like, you know what, they're working hard. I'm out here. Plus, I usually have fun while I'm doing it. It's usually light snow, so I'm not really that worried. And I just do all of it. What do you do when no one's watching? Because I always get up crazy early, and that's when I do it. Go for my five o'clock run, shovel the snow. I'm, I'm out. Nobody's watching. So I'm, I'm moving the snow and I'm in my drive, the driveway that I'm shoveling. And it's taking me forever. Starts to brighten up. The sun starts to rise. And I know that people are starting to, I can hear other people shoveling and I'm still shoveling the driveway because it's that much snow and it's that heavy. And I finally get done with the driveway and get to the sidewalk. And the one neighbor, the one neighbor says, you know, I know you and I know you're going to do our sidewalk, but I got a whole crew coming. So please, you don't need to do our sidewalk. And I'm like, that's OK. I really don't mind. No, 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 no. What I know about this, this neighbor, this neighbor that's a love keeper. Is that not only do I do, do they do our snow. They also rake the leaves that come into the driveway from their tree. They also created a nice path between the two houses, never asking for anything in return. Love keepers. So as I'm as I'm shoveling, as I'm shoveling the snow and removing it, you know, we're all kind of hanging out, having a little bit of a conversation. And then I get ready to leave. And he's like, and I'm like, are you sure you don't want me to do any of it? And he's like, yeah, no, I've got a whole crew. Look, I'm like, okay. So I started walking along the path 
And I crossed over by this time it's daylight. I'm on my way to the second, second place. And I see Ruth. And I say, Kali Mera Posisis, which means it's Greek. It means, hey, how you doing? And she's like, oh man, I just, I just twisted the back of my leg. I'm oh my gosh, I just thirst. And we had this conversation. And I asked if I can help her. Now, Ruth and her neighbor always say no. They always say no. I said, can I, can I help you with your snow? They're like, no, no, no. And then her neighbor who's out shoveling the snow said, hey, yeah, Giannis is getting ready to shovel all of our snows with his blower. And I'm like, yeah. Love keepers. My question to you today is what do you do when nobody's watching? When Abel and Cain were in the field together and Cain thought nobody was watching, he did the most atrocious thing. But the ground was listening. The ground could feel Abel's blood. The ground began to cry out to God. God had already seen because God is the watcher of all watch. And God posed the question, where is your sibling? And he responds, lo, yarati, I don't know. and then says what I feel like is the worst reaction. Hashomer, Hashomer. Ahi, anahi. Am I my sibling's keeper? The answer is always yes. Am I my sibling's keeper? At the morning light, when there is only the star and the snow that lights up that light in the dawn. Am I my sibling's keeper? The answer is yes. In the blizzard, when the lightning is happening, am I my sibling's keeper? The answer is yes. Am I supposed to go out and lift the heavy snow when nobody's watching? Yes. Am I supposed to go and lift up my sibling from the ground when nobody's watching? Yes. The answer is always yes. You are your sibling's keeper because you are a love keeper. A keeper of love. Hey, it's Shemai Reed with I Am Refocus Radio. Make sure you go to IamRefocusRadio.com to listen to today's episode. Once again, like we always say, keep God first, stay focused, and peace. Peace.